This morning, the committee investigating the January 6 attack revealing never before seen video of former President Trump okay. the day after the riot, playing outtakes from a speech he recorded. My only goal was to ensure the integrity of the vote. My only goal was to ensure the integrity of the vote. He was speaking about those who attacked the Capitol, but refused to say they broke the law. And if you broke the law, you can't say that. And he still resisted saying the election was over. The demonstrators who infiltrated the Capitol have defied the seat of dust. It's defiled, right? See, I can't see it very well. Okay, I'll, I'll do this. I'm going to do this. Let's go. But this election is now over. Congress has certified the results. I don't want to say the election's over. I just want to say Congress has certified the results without saying the election's over, okay? Advisor Ivanka Trump is heard coaching her father in the background. But Congress is certified. Now Congress is Yeah, certified. right. Now Congress is I didn't say over, so let, let me see. Go, go to the paragraph before. I would like to begin by addressing the heinous attack yesterday. Yesterday is a hard word for me. Just take that. The hands of yes. Ah, uh, good. Also last night, the committee further revealed the danger Vice President Mike Pence faced on January 6th after Trump tweeted calling him a coward for helping to certify Joe Biden's election win. Former White House aide Sarah Matthews testified that tweet from Trump was like pouring gasoline on the fire. It was essentially him giving the green light to these uh, people telling them that what they were doing at the steps of the Capitol and entering the Capitol was okay, that they were justified in their anger. As the mob came within feet of the vice president's office, radio traffic from Pence's security detail reveals just how worried Secret Service agents were about evacuating him from the Capitol. If we lose uh, any more time, we may have, we may lose the ability to, to leave. So if we're going to leave, we need to do it now. In video testimony, an unnamed security official testified members of Pence's security team fearing for their lives even asked for goodbye messages to be sent to their families. The members of the VP detail at this time were starting to fear for their own lives. Um, there were a lot of, there was a lot of yelling, um, a lot of, um, uh, a lot of very personal calls um, over the radio. So. Uh, it was disturbing. I don't I'm like talking about it, but um, uh, there were calls to um, say goodbye to family members, so on and so forth. It was getting, for, for whatever the reason was on the ground, the VP detail thought that this was about to get very ugly. The committee also showed footage of Missouri Senator Josh Hawley running in the Senate halls to escape from writers, video that drew laughs in the hearing room. Earlier that day, Hawley was seen raising his fist towards Trump supporters. A Capitol Police officer testified Hawley's gesture of support riled up the crowd. Former President Trump has released a statement calling his former aide Sarah Matthews a liar and criticizing Mike Pence. Trump also denied that he privately took some responsibility for the riot. <laughs> Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.